Hey guys, welcome back. We are back here with Hatomo Burrito. We're on part 7 of Diablo 3 Casual Playthrough. We've just been given the task to go kill the Skeleton King at the Cathedral. That's our first major uh, quest of the game, and I'd say we're uh, out of the tutorial zone now. This is uh, where the game really starts ticking up, and it uh, looks like Leia doesn't have a new tome for us. I'm pretty sure that uh, Kane doesn't have a new one for us either, but we'll go check there too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why, that's you, Leia. Yep. Oh, no, he has a book. Open the book. All right. I wish that Leia could live a different life, a more normal life. But alas, such is not her fate. When I pass, there is none but her to continue my work, and the future of this world hangs in the balance. So here we are. This is going to be the second level. It's, uh... This is a well laid out area, because we went right there to the waypoint. The waypoint brought us back to right where we stopped off. And we're going to open this ornate door. Ghostly opening. The art design in this game is fantastic. This door has a nice, like, area on it, and this golden light coming through. The game is just... looks gorgeous. And even today, like, four years later. Poor guy. Anyway, this is going to be more cathedrally, so uh, we should have seen things similar to what we've uh, seen before, but I think they might open up more areas now. Yeah, so this... Oh, what's... Is that a treasure goblin? Yes! There he is. Give him the hits. Give him the hits. Oh, we're in a bunch of guys. Okay, let's just give him a hit. Hopefully we can just uh, stun everyone. It's going to be fine. Are we stunning him? That's nice. Oh, watch out! Freezing. Where'd he go? Is he back here? Oh, we gotta hit him. We gotta hit him. Did we lose him? Ah, oh, he escaped. We didn't hit him, so he got to escape. Mad about that. Let's finish these guys off and continue on. So this is air this is a directed bell. You can't just use it around us like all the other schools have been using. So. Takes a few hits. Oh, what did we just get? We just got a legendary. Very early for legendary, but we are playing on expert. Nice. So I will explain what this is later. This is a special magic item. We don't know what it does yet. We'll have to go back to town to equip it. So once we start filling, uh, you know what? Let's just go do it right now. So yes, this is uh, going to be an item that's better than rares. So this is going to be the next tier up, and this item will have some cool special ability attached to it. That's gonna like make our gameplay way different. So the monsters take three uh, some damage from Tempest Rush or five seconds after you hit them. So we don't have Tempest Rush yet, but uh, it's just generally better for the moment. Uh, when we get it, our Tempest Rush is going to be better, basically. So it's going to increase our damage against things with... Oh no, wait, which one's Tempest Rush? This thing. So monsters are going to take way more damage from Tempest Rush, so we got to change our whole build. Oop. Then we'll make our left click that. Let's make our left click this. We're gonna make our right click uh, Tempest Rush here. And yeah, okay, so if we're gonna use that, then we should probably do like Fist of Thunder, I think. Um, we still want Blinding Flash. Dashing Strike is something we still want. Yeah, so now our Tempest Flash is gonna be way better if we hit them. Enemies take more damage from your Tempest Rush after you hit them with a Blind, Freeze, or Stun. Does this thing freeze or blind? No, we need something that stuns. This uh, there, this dazes. This, eh, nothing does that yet. So unfortunately, we don't get the big bonus. That's that's unfortunate. I was trying to min-max my way and meta game out the game, but it didn't work out that way. That's unfortunate. We've explored all the areas so far. Again, another big hole leading to the star. Now we need some way to like blind or stun them to get that extra bonus damage. I really want that to happen at some point. We'll be looking on the prowl for that. We're gonna go fight those elites in a second, but let's go check out these barrels. Oh, another treasure goblin, I hear him. Oh man. Where is he? That's the exit down there, apparently. We'll go back the other way in a second. There's a treasure goblin. I heard him. Yeah. We're faster right now for some reason. 
I don't remember. Oh, because we killed a bunch of uh, items. When you kill a bunch of items in a row, the bonus you get is you get to go a little bit faster. Let's go kill this guy. Molten. We gotta be careful walking around them. It's actually bad for our skill right here. Just walk through them. Halfway there. Let's deal with these other guys. If you can deal with the other guys while you're. Oh, I'm gonna explode. It's always a pain when they do that. You know what? I think I'm gonna deal with these archers first. They're kind of a pain. Trying to stay out of the fire here. Can't be difficult. You can see it's actually affecting me. Oh, get out of there! The enemies get way harder later on. It's definitely a, a big problem. The sand and things like this. Get out! Get out! Get out! I need like slightly better single-person damage. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get it. Blind him for now. Keep popping him up. Yeah, we really need a better weapon really soon, or else we're gonna be in dire straits. I think we're just not doing enough damage against elites right now. That adventurer didn't have anything. Uh, there's a dead end over here, but you can see, you know, the game just the world doesn't just end when you dead end. It, uh, it continues on. Uh, so very good uh, world design in this game. A lot of uh, other JRP uh, ARPGs I've played have sort of this problem where you just kind of, uh, you hit the end, like a dead end area, and then they don't bother to describe the world anymore after that. So that's the exit up there. We're gonna keep running through people, I think. Oh man, we really need, we really need a better weapon. Do we not have anything? This axe seems okay, but... Well, we just gotta find one. Or at least to kill. We're gonna get these bats, no problem. I don't oh, out, out of spirit. I must wait to use that ability. Get one of these bats. Ugh. Oh, they're a big problem. Yeah, so just getting them all together, using your AoE abilities together, that's kind of how you deal with things in Diablo. Nope, those are boots. You need a weapon. You need a weapon. Come on. Where'd you... Oh, wow, that was weird. He hid, he hid behind the stuff for some reason. Uh, these bookcases usually don't hide things, I'm pretty sure. More armor, more stuff to kill. I don't think we took this one yet. Enlightened Shrine, more experience, and here's another Lectern Shrine. So we get to hear more of the story of the knight. When we returned from our horrific defeat in Westmarch, my beloved king lost all pretense of sanity. He seethed with rage, spitting curses upon us as traitors. The great son, all right, so we just got we're level 14. We just got our third ability. I'm just going to use it. Um, I'm not sure what it's doing. Pull up to 16 enemies towards you. Um, I'm really not seeing what it's doing. Oh, there we go. Oh, you click, you click and choose an area. Or you hold it down. You hold it down. Okay pulls everyone into you, so it makes it easier to make the attacks happen. Cool! Oh, we got some other stuff too, but we will go check that out in a second. Mr. The Orc, uh, Mr. Lactan, what did he... Yep. After uh, they lost in West March, then, uh, yep, the Orc got mad. Okay, what did we get? A new skill ruin for this? Okay, here we go. This can freeze something now, then we've got to use it. Got to use it so our Tempest Rush is way better. And then Breath of Heaven got a Ruin, finally. Uh, Sears enemies, so it does damage and heals, but I think we're going to just keep blinding people for now. 
And here's Cyclone Strike. Okay, pulls in enemies uh, and deals damage. That's super useful. Oh, and we had a we had a passive too. What was the passive? Oh, I guess not. That's a couple levels down. I thought we had one. Looks like that's the area here for level two of the cathedral. Um, I would say overall, in terms of dungeoning, the dungeons don't get much more than three or four levels deep each, so you're never like in one area super, super long. We're going to continue on from here, and uh, we're going to make this video a little bit shorter. We're here at level three already, so I will uh, cut here, and I will see you guys in the next one.